Hurricane Harvey barreling into the Texas coastline as a Category 4 storm with 130 mile an hour winds. It's the first Category 4 storm to hit the U.S. in over a decade. One year ago today, the Texas Gulf Coast was changed forever by Hurricane Harvey. Harvey is now considered one of the costliest natural disasters in U.S. history. From Corpus Christi to Louisiana, from Port Aransas to Beaumont, Texans saw 250 miles of devastation. Record amounts of rain and strong winds destroyed their homes and destroyed their businesses. And precious lives were lost in Texas. But bright light cut through the darkness of the storm. Law enforcement and first responders saved countless lives. Citizen heroes answered the call. From men and women linking arms to save their neighbors, to business owners and churches throwing their doors open to hurting families, to our brave countrymen in the Cajun Navy. And over the past 365 days, the Lone Star State has made tremendous strides in recovering from Hurricane Harvey. Texans have stood shoulder to shoulder and helped rebuild our communities. In Washington, we came together and secured three major waves of federal funding, providing billions of dollars for immediate and long-term disaster relief to the state. I worked with my colleagues hand in hand to increase the overall level of disaster funding and to ensure that Texas receives the aid necessary to recover. We increased funding for critical Army Corps flood management projects in Texas that will protect our communities from the floodwaters of future storms. And I was proud to help pass legislation that ensures that our houses of worship will always receive the FEMA disaster relief that they need. We also passed my hurricane tax relief bill, legislation that provided more than $5 billion in targeted relief to hurricane survivors. While I'm encouraged by the progress we've seen over the past year, the road to recovery continues on. I will continue working hard every day to ensure that Texas communities still suffering from Hurricane Harvey receive the federal aid they deserve in the months ahead. The Lone Star State is resilient. Together, we will rebuild the Texas Gulf Coast stronger than ever before.